Mr. Kerbin. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. And as you've heard, Pulse Point is a mobile app that uh, individuals who've been trained in CPR uh, will be identified when there is a need for CPR in the event of sudden cardiac arrest uh, within a quarter mile of their location. Um, it also will alert as to the location of uh, automatic uh, external defibrillators or AEDs that are in the area. One thing to keep in mind is it's not going to send you to people's residences. It's only going to alert when the uh, cardiac arrest, the need for CPR, is in a public location. Um, as Dr. Lutz mentioned, survivability is key. And early CPR and, and early intervention with an automatic defibrillator is, is absolutely key to that. Uh, for instance, if beyond eight minutes without oxygen-rich blood, a person uh, can suffer brain damage, even death. Beyond 10 minutes, survivability is, um, is very difficult. And so early detection of cardiac arrest, early response is, is key. The way this app works, it's a mobile app that's downloaded either to an iPhone or to an Android, uh, and alerts come across simultaneously to EMS and fire dispatch. So a person is, is alerted uh, in, at the same time. And many times, individuals can get there uh, just because of the, clo the close proximity um, faster than uh, the other responders will, and, and can start uh, with that uh, with CPR uh, that increases the chance of survival. So, uh, one of the things that, that we like to say at, at Bon Secours is community is best done in collaboration, and I think this is a prime example where. Uh, the two health systems in the county, uh, Greenville Health System, Bon Secours St. Francis, came together uh, along with the county, uh, with EMS, with the fire departments, et cetera, uh, to work together to make uh, our community a safer place and a, and a better place to live. So as I mentioned, early detection and early intervention uh, in the event of sudden cardiac arrest is absolutely key. Uh, and one person I'd like to introduce today is Mr. John Engel, who is a survivor of sudden cardiac arrest, and I'd like to invite him up to share his story.